everybody. Today, I just, just, I was just thinking, right? I was thinking, well, Springtrap is the purple guy, right? The purple guy had a son. The purple guy's son, we'll just name him David right now. So let's say David, he's the one in the bathroom weeping. So if you think about it, you remember Bloom Boy and his little jump scare from everything? And Oh uh, yeah, hang on. Let's go like this because nobody wants to hear me scream or anything else. Okay. But Bloom Boy, he, he has someone inside of him. Because if you notice, he doesn't have an endoskeleton. So there has to be someone inside of him, right? And somebody is inside of him. Now my theory, just like on Pokemon, can't be incorrect. My theory is, there he is, there's Springtrap. This is the purple guy. He's right there, right? Now, on these here, I'll play a map too. Not map too cool. I should be good. Oh darn it. Oh shut up. As always, there there were numerous things the designated Every location is built with one extra room that is not included in traditional map layouts programs with animatronic or security. This room is hidden to customers, visible to animatronic, and always off camera. As always, remember to smile. What do you say? Jump scare. Okay, so there he is, right? Now you actually see the balloon boy jump scare. Wait, why does it look like it's a pair of titties? I'm not gonna ask. You actually see. Whoa, there's Springtrap. Okay, so that's David's dad. That's the purple guy. Now, the purple guy, let's go into YouTube. The purple guy is actually Springtrap, which was odd because I thought the purple guy, no, the purple guy, once he got into Springtrap, became, woke up Golden Freddy. Okay, everything makes sense now. So, um, we're just going to do a little search, F-N-A-F, Weeping. Crying, no, crying, crying, kid. See, in FNAF 2, actually 3, when you get the Balloon Boy jump scare, um, it makes Springtrap appear at your window. So I'll show you the little window. It makes him appear at your window, and... Okay, nobody cares about this warning. Well, some people with epilepsy. So the window. Okay. The window is right. Hurry up. That's the window. Okay. It makes him appear right there. Once you get the. Um, uh, hello, hello. Uh, for today's lesson, we will be. Cool, nobody wants to hear you. <laughs> Mute call. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but nobody wants to hear you. So once you get the balloon boy jump scare, that makes Springtrap appear right there. Now, if you think about it, David, the little purple guy's kid, oh, jump scare is going to become happen. But, what the heck? Ventilation error. Um, when the purple guy becomes Springtrap, they have some type of relation. Because Springtrap appears right there after the Balloon Boy jump scare. So, um, about 30 seconds later. So, we should be getting close to a jump scare. Something was just right here. Golden Freddy jump scare. Golden Freddy jump scare. So, we got the Golden Freddy jump scare. That makes... See... Make Springtrap go right there. The Golden Freddy jump scare makes Springtrap appear here. Actually, he might be in four. 
makes him appear at camp four or six. Um, so <laughs> let's get on that. But um, it makes him. They have some type of relation, cause Balloon Boy doesn't have an endoskeleton, if I'm correct, and Springtrap um isn't even a real thing. Like if you ever heard the song um by for F and F um another Five Nights, it gives another explanation, like. What, how the purple guy is related to Springtrap because he says it's just uh, job wait like who is Springtrap never heard of him and who's this purple guy and he talks something like that and like it's all about that right so they have some type of relation and obviously Springtrap calls comes to Balloon Boy's voice after the Balloon Boy jump scare. And you actually, in Five Nights at Freddy's 2, this one, when Balloon Boy is under your desk, not under your desk, in your office, you um, see him. So let's go continue on night one, obviously. <laughs> I haven't really progressed in this game much. Um, so we're gonna try looking under our desk. Oh my goodness, mute this call. So nobody's under our desk. Let's go to Balloon Boy's area. See, Balloon Boy's right there. If you look closely, Balloon Boy actually does not have an endoskeleton, but in his teeth, there is a set of eyes.